Hi, John here. It's Friday, the 20th of May 2016. I'm just um, updating today on where we are with the uh, um, Cook Street project and also with what's happening with the Queen going to EU Parliament or running off from Westminster abandoning ship. That's the term in uh, Admiralty, abandoning ship is um, King William the Fourth uh, jurisdiction of mortgage liens and also law of the sea. That's in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, where we're operating our business online as being authenticated with King William's seal, his flag here of um, Admiralty um, liens and also in the capacity of Sheriff, the creditor of the bank notes that we have online, the pound note bank um, uh, levy debtor instruments that we're using on fraud, John Key, uh, TPPA um, um, contracts that are not authorised through this flag on that marae at Waitangi. We believe uh, strongly that he is using that flag of ours, our contract, to my hapu, Chief Kingi Taurua, and myself, uh, the creditor, operating this flag from that marae now, as um, the creditor of John Key and his corporate business, Crown Entity, operating its business inside that marae with the Navy, um, as the levy debtors that we are charging uh, for all the fraud that you see on a Panama uh, tax havens. That's just one um, um, discrepancy in the law that we're testing in the Auckland District Court now from our authority, from the marae, that marae, to take into that court with my barrister, uh, um, Shannon Withers, and Judge Collins. Um, waiting for them to um, bring in um, detective, uh, CIB uh, police officer uh, Natalie Flowdy Brown into the court in Auckland District Court. Set that court scene and it's very serious. I'm talking serious when the Queen abandons ship in England and goes into where she planned to go, the EU Parliament in Brussels. There's a conflict of interest with our flag is amounting to treason. Now making this notice before they change their laws to any other law apart from we've trapped them in this fraud committing it with the Governor General still here operating his Waitangi National Trust private company under the Queen and her crown authority that hasn't got any statement of confidence as much as we have in this flag. Our statement of confidence is fixed in statute law in Westminster Parliament, extant forevermore. Um, now, I'm saying this, before the horse bolts, uh, this is a message from Kingi Taurua, Chief of uh, Titi Marae and also Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, that he and I recovering our lands in Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, or the original 1 bar 61 Cook Street, um, and also the treaty grounds where the ship of Admiralty stuck on the ground next to that Marae King's Court of Admiralty. And those two go together on documents as our sealed authority, the highest authority of a king's emperor, King William IV. All right. So he created these acts from 1830 to 1837 that applies to all the commerce of the sea. King of the sea, king's bench court, creditor. Okay, so that's our business alive while the Pope has destroyed all trusts and corporations, including the court that's running their trust, the Auckland District Court, 
and NZ Police against me and Natalie Flower Dew Brown in capitals, the same person in legalese or in legal persons versus me, natural person. Okay? So um, we have issues with that. We're tidying up now and I'm just about to ring Sue Nakora, the Prime Minister of the Maori Government and uh, get her uh, feelings on where things are at the present time. I'm just about to ring her now and um, speak to her. Here she goes. Bear with me while I get her on the phone. I just want to catch up with what she has at the present moment. Sue, that's John Wanoa here. John, John Wanoa. I'm all right. I'll just ring you up. I'll just uh, keep in touch. I'll just ring you to keep in touch. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, where 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 things are at the present time. Um, are you still coming up to Auckland? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm I'm trying to tell him at the moment. I think he's listening to me because that's what Hohepa says. He only listens to me. <laughs> that's what Hohepa Ipiha says. John, nobody, Kingy won't listen to anybody but you. Um, and, and so I've had a good relationship with Kingy from his marae. So that's, that's good. I can relay to him what you're saying. And... Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. They need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The politics. Yes, yes. They don't they don't really uh, there are others that do, but they were a bit slow on it. Uh Cock Gregory, that's that's um uh Gregory's son. He's he's the closest that can do that. But um Yeah, yeah, but his son is, is well up to that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, not the older one. The young one. Is there another one? Oh, okay. Okay. 
Yes, yes. I saw them on TV last night. Yeah. Uh, I'm all right. I'm still working with Jamie. Uh, we're we're still working alongside Kingy with the Marai and and um, what I'm doing online. The Queen now in in the social media is 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 hightailing it out of out of Britain into the EU Parliament or somewhere. She's going to hide now because um, of the pressure mounting on her. Yeah, I'm still going there, not yet, until I get Cook Street. I'm waiting for my court hearing. Um, no, I'm just waiting for the lawyer to, uh, the barrister, to uh, get the court hearing set date. And then uh, I will try and get... No, uh, not in the court, it's on legal aid. Um, is I'm making the most out of the legal aid. Uh, no, 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 I'm hoping to wrap it up. I'm hoping to wrap it up as soon as possible. And um, we'll, know, we'll only know that because I'm, I'm taking my case from Waitangi Marae and, and the Admiralty and the flag. The, the, nobody, just me. Uh, just me because they don't understand it, like you. They don't understand... How, how the Admiralty law works, so I just have to do it on my own and um, um, yeah, with the barrister and, and interpret so that he can understand what the flag means, part of it. In, in I, I'm hoping that it'll be uh, within the next two weeks, I'm hoping, because if I get as much as the police out of my road, I want them out of my road so I can go and get the land. I can use the land as as collateral to get going. That was the whole idea, is is to. Yeah. 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 How, how far is that would be away, Sue? Oh, that'll be good. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll be good to, to keep uh, watch on that. I'm only helping Kingy from. Yeah, because I'm. I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping in touch with Georgie. Um, so she's good. She's on Skype now, and I can Skype her anytime. But I think she didn't want to talk to Hoiba because his he, mouth is a little bit big. Bit big. Um, he's all right doing his own thing. And I, yeah. Alfred. Alfred. Mitchell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the original one. That. Yeah. Can't get the right people thinking the same thing. Yeah. Right. No, 
Oh uh, yeah, see, yeah, they're no, I get on well with them. They're 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 all right. They're 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 doing the right things, and and I'm encouraging. Who? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. No, not a cutie. Yes, yes. Yeah, she got a job. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, uh, how how do you get on with the Russian, with the military? It's, I think that's going to be uh, featured high on my list. Is is the Russians are going to have something? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a place in Gisborne to park them there? You, you you use the port facility in Gisborne. Port facilities, you know the shipping. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now I'm thinking of the fisheries, protecting all the fisheries and all that sort of thing down there. Yes, yes. Russia. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, that's right. So, so... Yeah, yeah. So that's more. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. So that's more the policy I wanted to go into the sea bed area, um, from down there. When when you get all that set up, um, would be, would be. Yeah, it has to it has to go along with that. It has to go along under those charters. It 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 has to uh, with the trade as well, with the with the flag under the trade. So it's all uh, uh, I understand all of that. I'm just waiting. That's all. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Right. Where are you where where are you staying in Auckland? You're going you got somewhere to stay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, um yeah, otherwise um uh, that's the alternative. As long as that's the alternative. I've always got a spare place here. Um that's an alternative to coming to stay somewhere in Auckland um, is here, uh, so um, we'll we'll see how you pan out. N next week, you think, eh? Next week, you think? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So, so uh, my 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 nephew is is not going to his classes now because he's standing beside me, Desmond. He, Desmond, Desmond. He's not going to his classes now. He's sitting by, picking up things from me um, to, to to concentrate more on this. Um, the, now the time is getting close. What's that? He's up there in Gisborne. He's, he's got his own place. He's got his own house up the road from you. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's always there. Um, we're there for you um, with, an, with everything that's going on down there. And if need be, I'm going to shift back down there uh, when the time gets closer. Yeah. 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 I'll be coming down there, yeah. I'll come, I'll come, uh, yeah, that's I'll good. Joy. Yeah. That'd be good to have a, a hui there when, when things get... It'd be good to have a hui down there um, when everything starts getting closer. Um, my friend uh, down there with Tamati um, Rapata, Ka, he's doing the honey. He's very good. Yeah, those ones I get on better with those ones. I, I get on better with those ones than the ones in Tiara Law. <laughs> those are my those are my football people at Rangi <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Good for them. Okay. Same. Bye. Bye. There we go. That's Sue Nakora, uh, the Prime Minister of the New Zealand Government. Uh, just talking about the Russians. Uh, don't be surprised if they come straight in. Uh, to you, Putin, you used to work for the Conservation Department in New Zealand, so you know a little bit of too about things here. But I need military up in Rangitukia on the Waipu River. It's if the British don't come, you come. It, Sue's got charters signed with you, two charters. And the other charters in the United Nations where we're going. We've always said we're going there and to the World Court to take John Key into the World Court. I've got better ideas about fixing that up with this flag and a pound note. There's a quicker way to skin him, a wreck. Um, and this is the way for anybody that lies blatantly in front of the whole world on our land. Now, I've been with Sue for many, many years, going up to 20 years now. She's on our land blocks at the East Cape in Uapuatu, uh, Hapu, and I'm on the other side of that in Rangitukia, the Marangaro land blocks on the Uataha land blocks. Uh, and so she knows a thing or two. She's the best um, Harvard um, professor at anything Maori and um, land, especially land and politics. She was the right hand man of. Jeffrey Palmer, so Jeffrey Palmer as a Maori policy maker, so you can't go past that. And she says she's Ngāpui, she can be Ngāpui one minute uh, and Ngāti Pro the next and, and Te Hawa Uru another and so on. So she's just one terrific lady that's um, a friend of Moira uh, Hoffman in uh, Rotorua, a friend of mine. Uh, Moira, if you're watching this, um, you can come up and see her next week if she comes up um, and stay in my little cave uh, and we can talk um, again um, like we did up in Waitaki. Uh, now on the other hand of Sue, she, her Maori government, we have the um, Maui uh, King William Commonwealth Government of the World. That's overarching the world with this flag. That's the other part of this confederation flag of King William that the Queen is usurping as Vice Admiral to an Admiral flag 
and I'm making this statement quite clear to the Queen, you're on notice as always, and to the Governor General of New Zealand and um, Jerry Mataparai Andrews and the Prime Minister of New Zealand, John Key, this one's for you. You heard what Sue Nakora, the Prime Minister, is saying. She wants you off our land because of your threats against this flag. It's treason, grand treason against this flag, trying to get rid of us and the war veterans flag, King Itaurua, that's his New Zealand flag, the, the 1902 um, uh, Union Jack flag. He went to war with that flag as well as this flag. But for you to get rid of it and get people behind you for your private business, you can take your private business, go back to England, they'll lock you up there because the Queen has abandoned this ship of Admiralty standing in Waitangi on the treaty grounds next to Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. I'll make that quite clear. King's Bench Court is that Marae where I'm doing these documents, authenticating them to King Itaurua in that Marae, the chief of that Marae land that that Marae sits on. Those carvings in that building belongs to us, the hapu. They are sacred and they are our tauna. We want them back and that's what this Cook Street case is all about. You'll have to prove to me your title in front of all the titles I have online and all the statements I'm saying online. It's my word against yours. Pope got rid of your 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 trusts and corporations and that's left you singly liable. We are liable in you with the pound note that we're using the King William Moai pound note as instruments of legal authority of this flag seal of King William on his horse and his ship in the background on the seal of the eight point star as you see this eight point star four corners of the globe and the blue sea admiralty and sky and the red cross of King George and King William okay so this just to wrap this video up I'm glad that the camera is still going that you can get an overview of this important time I put some articles about the Queen abandoning ship, it says there quite clearly, abandoning ship to go somewhere, into a bunker or somewhere while her mischievous ISIS people and Obama create havoc in the world. All the Satan things that are going on, killing people and hiding in the earth and away so you can poison the skies and the sea, the water and the DNA and everything. Those are all the evil things that have come out of you, Elizabeth Windsor, in Westminster. And the people that put you in there and praise you should go with you too, where you're going, out of there. I'm saying to the people in Britain, we're coming with this flag to save Britain from the terrorist Queen, Pope Francis and Evelyn Rothschild and his Rothschild family, Banks. This flag and the seal will shut you down and give the power back to the people in the world that is the common law of King's people, King's common people that I'm here for and proclaiming the Waitangi Treaty Marae or Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court <coughs> of authority straight to the King. That's all I want to say for now, apart from uh, Cook Street. There is no um, uh, indication from my barrister yet of a court date set for me to go there, so I'm just compiling my case against the laws that um, the police have broken and Natalie Flower Dew Brown, detective, this is for you. You've got to appear in the court in front of the whole world who are watching and those are my witnesses on the videos that I make like this of statements that you are fraudulent to back up the land owners 
occupiers on 77 Cook Street, Simon Brent Roundtree and James Pierce Brown, you are liable as much as the pound note against your names. I have a debt company in England that I pay every week to recover all those debts and the military, British military, is obligated to us and this flag to recover all the debts from you that I'm proving that you've committed crimes in the 1961 Crimes Act. And you, John Key, your number is here, your number of your, your case. The police have not finished it off. 091218 bar 6055. John Key, you have a arrest warrant on you on the 29th of December 2009 straight after the Lisbon Treaty was signed, you opened Parliament up. I was there at the time, documenting all these affidavits, catching the Queen in the back room, signing with Gordon Brown, the Treaty of Lisbon, and you coming in with this court hearing against you, opening the Supreme Court of New Zealand up without a statement of confidence of the Queen of England, monarch, she wasn't a monarch, she was a abandoned ship then to EU Parliament in Brussels. So it's just a conflict of interest, conflict of interest happening here all that way through, right till now, it's still a conflict of interest that you're operating this government here illegally, unlawfully, illegitimately and fraudulently. This is why I want you arrested and Jerry Matiparai Andrews, the Governor General, going to England to sell the rest of this Maori land off. You, Jerry Matiparai, you get a arrest warrant on you as well. When I see the police and settle with them, I want them out of my road while I get our land back on Cook Street. I'm going in to get it. Now you heard the Prime Minister, soon the Cora will come in and take over when we exhausted all avenues of protection against any alien interests against our, against our interest in our land. And um, you have violated our law of our native land. I'm the native assessor of these lands to check who is causing fraud on them. We will get audit on every company here that has blind trusts like yours, John Key. I want to unblind your trust and take the blindfold off to see where you've put all that money that you've stolen from the taxpayers here. And all those offshore companies hiding away here, you're going to have it all seized off you with this authority of the flag and the Maori government or whoever. It's going to be a government there. I will be in the seabed as the policy maker for the sea through Sue Nakora and her confederation of chiefs. Okay, it's ready to go. We're ready to go. We've got our barrister, Charles Hirschfield. He's my barrister as well, as Sue's. And he has all my documents, all of these documents online on Facebook. He has the whole lot, including the um, Judge David Lindsay Mackey in the High Court of Admiralty in London. It's lodged over there against you, John Key, with your name in the box, signed by you, Tai Troy lawyer in the city here. Your lawyer now. You've taken my South Korean lawyer for your lawyer, and you'll get wrapped up in that lot. All right? Your name is in the box, and it's liable. You're liable. That's what I'm saying to everyone else watching this video in the world. This flag here is the world flag of the Queen's business. Her fraud business is run from Waitangi Marae up in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. The crown jewels is run inside that marae by all the Governor Generals who have been here in New Zealand right back to 18, 1952. The Queen started her racket off when she first became Queen, 1952, after her father, King George VI. Right. I'm saying this, I'm saying this quite clearly, that skeptics out there, even in New Zealand, people saying it's stupid what we do. 
we'll soon see how much stupidity there is inside the Queen and all her followers and the people following John Key to their misery. Right? That's all that's going to happen. Now, I just mentioned this, that the U U US Navy is coming to New Zealand at the request of John Key. And that's the beginning of training police, the, the Navy and the police mixing together. I'm libeling them before they even get here. I'm libeling Jerry Mataparai Andrews before he takes his new post up as the ambassador to New Zealand uh, to sell off the rest of this land that's not his. That's a Maori. The Maori word was invented by the Crown Corporation and the Queen's agents. You're getting the bill. I'm saying you're all getting the bill for breaking the 1961 Crimes Act yourselves. Made the law to break yourselves. You're going to get the bill before anybody goes anywhere. And all those people who have come here and breaking the system of tax through these Panama tax havens, right through the world, you're affected by this flag and that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's the only native King's Bench Court in the world that has a ship in the paddock next to the courthouse anywhere in the world with the flags flying. With the British flag, this flag opposite it as partners, the British military, military and Westminster Parliament are partners to us, the Hapu chiefs of Maui Native Authority. And on the other side of the top is John Key and the Union Jack, the flag in the sea, on the sea, that's Navy, New Zealand Navy, and the Queen and the fraudulent government in Wellington that soon of course is going to get rid of. She knows more about politics than that lot on our native land. She's native to this land. John Key is not. He is an alien that's carving everything out of it and wrecking the whole system here and the people who are uh, following what he's saying to do is raking the money for their own private interests and not the interests of the people living in cars and in sheds and on the streets. That's his government. It's gone. Go. That's what we're doing. We're going to bill you before we boot you. All. All of you. Including the Governor General. You're going to get booted from Sunakora this time on that Marae. Okay. So that's all we're going to say for now. Apart from that, to Jamie and uh, Whakatahane, uh, thanks for keeping their things going for me and um, keeping uh, your belief in me. And thanks to Desmond and Gisborne, I said for him to help uh, Sue at this moment in time. Uh, he uh, has put his carving school aside to focus on what we're doing here. And you heard me say that Sue will be up probably next week to formulate the papers of work with the barrister and myself. I'll be there as policy maker and the, the, the portfolio for the seabed and the foreshore and the tidal turbines. She wants those tidal turbines in the sea. We're going to put them in the sea. I've been putting bits online on Facebook on our sites. There's 68 sites all together on Facebook. They'll light up as soon as we get her going or I'm going. One or the other. One way or the other. She says money's not a problem. Because why? Got title, that's why. That's what one thing John Key hasn't got, title. Selling this place off without title is an offence against unruly people like him that have come to live with us and do this. To you, John Key, your days are numbered. You're going to lose all your assets, the same way as Cook Street. You're going to lose all your assets. Sorry to say, that's the law of this flag under the King's Bench Court Orders. I make the rules here. Okay? I make the rules here. The Chiefs follow what I'm saying because they have confidence in the flag and confidence in me. Statement from them is a statement inside this flag that I'm allowed to use it online from that marae. It's got our ancestors in there from down on our land blocks, the um, um, <coughs> Ututangas and our family in there gives me the right to be in that marae to make statements for Napui 
and our Ngāti Whareau people who follow us. There's a lot who don't follow us. They can carry on doing what they do and follow you, John T. When you get the bill, they get the bill. All right? That's to anybody that's going the other way and not this way, one or the other. It's you want a bad queen, you go with her to where she's going to, back to Germany. And that dirty Pope, that's Catholic Church, that's ripped everything apart. They've got all the money out of it. Now they're, they're getting caught. Um, Putin's going to put an end to a lot of things. So we'll bring the military in here. I'll set it all up for her. And that's the end of that. So, from me, John Wallow, Auckland, New Zealand. That's all I want to say for now. Apart from that, have a nice day. I